it is um, upsetting that after a few years of provisional license um, that Schumann wasn't able to turn it around. Breaking news, Allegheny County will be permanently closing the Schumann Juvenile Detention Center. The county made that announcement late today saying it won't fight a closure order from the state. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Kim Gable. The center has been dealing with problems for several years now. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has been reporting on those troubles. He reveals what forced the state's hand new at 6. After years of violations and provisional licenses, the state said it had seen enough and ordered Schumann shut down. This last blow after a young resident overdosed on heroin. Schumann's troubles aren't new. A slew of allegations of workers abusing residents back in 2013 prompted a county internal investigation and vows for reform. The policies and procedures were lax. The environment is one of lack of trust and we need to have the right leadership in that center to take it to where we all want it to go. But after a string of provisional licenses, the PA Department of Human Services says enough's enough and has revoked the last license, ordering the center shut down in 30 days. This after a new report of a resident overdosing on heroin. Something's wrong, obviously, because if we can't get past the provisional licensure, whether it's one issue one time and another issue another time, this is the first time that I've been aware of, of any overdoses at Schumann. The state put Schumann on provisional status back in March 2019 after citing the facility for a worker pushing a resident and not hospitalizing other residents who were seriously injured. And it issued a second provisional when the center failed to notify the state of a resident's suicide attempt. A third came in March of 2020 when a suicidal resident wasn't reported or properly monitored. And a fourth provisional license was issued just last month after a resident overdosed on heroin and had to be revived with Narcan. The state moved to revoke the license last week, reporting that another resident had not been giving his or her required medication for weeks, citing the county for, quote, continued failure to follow regulations and failure to improve on past violations. People may lose their jobs. Children are in an unlicensed facility. Duquesne law professor Tiffany Sizemore, who runs the Youth Advocacy Legal Clinic, fears Schumann residents will be moved to other counties where parents could no longer visit them by bus. I don't think our um, courts, our judges, our attorneys, our parents want them in neighboring counties. So my hope is that Schumann can do what is necessary to um, get their license back. Now, the county did have 10 days to appeal, but late today decided, no, it would close the center down permanently. Reporting at the Schumann Juvenile Detention Center, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.